Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make the Lego Kai's Rage. If you don't know who Kai is, Kai is technically the name of my Minecraft skin. It's got two varieties. It's got the Angel Kai and the Demon Kai. The Demon Kai is red, the Angel Kai is blue. Of course, here we have the, um, the pieces of the um, Demon Kai. Uh, so the reason why it's Rage is because when he's an angel and like angel kai and he gets like defeated he turns red he just gets he gets covered in fire and then somehow he turns completely red not like everything maybe he's just as close but yeah that's how we know he's very dangerous but before we start i have to tell you something on our channel we don't just do Lego building videos, we do connects building videos, Beyblade videos, we also have another channel it's called Parcel Tube Gaming. We do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Common Marvel, Roblox, Balloons, TD Battles and Grand Pie Worm, so let's start. First thing we need is of course this white over here. And I'm gonna put this onto here like that. And I'm gonna put this here, we're gonna put these two over here. I'm gonna put this on top. And I'm gonna put this here, this here, put this over here. And I'm gonna put there like that, and I'm gonna put this here. There. This here, this here, like that. The only reason why he's like he's got rips in his shirt is because when you go in a fight, I mean, you get knocked out, but I mean, you your clothes isn't really invincible, so yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I only, only have one of these. I'm only joking because his arm ripped. His, <laughs> the shirt bit on his arm ripped. Uh, so now we're going to place this over here. We put this. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this here. And this. Up to this hand. I did it <laughs> the wrong way. Yeah, like that. Um, then on the ripped bit of the shirt hand, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this over here. We're gonna put this here. This over here because we're gonna put this over here. Then what you're about to see here is very impressive. You're gonna put this over here. I mean, whoever goes into battle with this, I mean, you'll be shocked what you'll see with your own two eyes. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put this here. We're nearly, we're nearly to it, so we finally finished this hand. I put this aside for a second. Let me get these. Uh, let me just get the pieces that we're gonna need for this very small section. I'm gonna get this here. And then we're gonna put this here. Um, so we're gonna place that there. We're gonna put these here like that. You might already guess what it is. And I mean, I could tell you by now. Yes, it, yeah, it is a shield, yeah. You got it correct, it's a shield. If you thought it was like iron armor, then no. I don't go in with iron armor. I can even stand a creeper explosion. So that's that's nearly done. We got a sword and the head left. I and mean, it looks creepy, so I'm just gonna put the head on right now. Of course we're not gonna build the full head because the hair is just so insane. So I'm just gonna quickly show you a quick view of the head so you might get a thing of how to build it. So here is the hair. Just gonna uh, 
like that. Of course, it doesn't have to be exactly the same because it doesn't really matter. Because as you can see here, my hair in real life, as you can see, see my hair right now, it looks like this. But if I do this, it looks different. Yeah, you get the point. So it doesn't really matter what type of hairstyle you put on him because hair could change very easily. Especially Kai's, as you can see, he's got a ton way more hair than me right now. Yeah, you could definitely tell. And I really like his hairstyle. Uh, and now, I mean, it doesn't really look that weird, but would you ever come and fight this zombie with a with a shovel? No, no, no. no. I mean, a zombie with a leather helmet and a shovel. No, with your fist, definitely not. We're gonna build a sword, of course, that is a very smart idea. I'm gonna get this, of course. It's like a rod with these on them, like that. Uh, and then you place, you put this here. You put this here. Of course, this sword design is by me. Of course, this took me quite a while to design a good sword and that is like pretty power, like, not that easily to break in like real life because before i always made swords that easily break in her minifigure hands so we're gonna put two of these in here now and then we're gonna put this blue pin in that hole and then we're gonna put this here and yes i had to use the diamond sword blue is my favorite color of them all even after red I still like blue more than red, but blue and red are still my, my most favorite colors. So that's why I made them. And then black is third. Black is third. Of course, every month or two, I keep changing my favorite colors, but this is going to be a permanent change. Maybe anything but one, two, and three will change. Before, it used to be orange that was my favorite color, but those days were long gone. <laughs> are longer yeah like that then you're gonna put two of these on there like that dude i thought even i couldn't even build this for a second but actually we have accomplished the mighty kai and this is what will happen to the zombie if it ever came near me come here zombie fight like a man yeah you heard me right, fight like a man, come close to me, then we can just, like this, we swing, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I mean by strong sword, so, we swing our hand at him, we one shot him, because we have a custom enchantment, which is auto slay one, and then you go like, ooh, that's how they that's how they die. Uh, so here is the finished thing. Of course, this guy has just defeated a, a thing. He got a leather helmet, as you can see, and a, and a very good iron shovel. At least he can escape this draw to desert. Like this. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys... Like it, subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys.